These are the first moments of an experienced dog, this partner at my feet, meeting this new little flock of sheep. These sheep have only been here a couple of weeks. They came from nice job cash. They came from a ranch that had a couple of guardian dogs with them, Maremas, that were really sweet to them. And these sheep are well socialized. So they're a good start for me. Um, these two dogs are young dogs, but experienced and dogs that I had with me in training when they were just kids. And then they're back to me. They can both be a little bit bouncy and fast, but they love their livestock. So I started with that girly girl, Sasha. Easy, there she is. That's good, Sasha. On a leash and I have a leash in my pocket. The sheep aren't worried about them. I had the sheep in this little pasture for a bit so that I could get a read on whether they thought these dogs were worrisome. Hey, hey. And they don't, Sasha. This one's, this, this, Sasha, is out the backside of me, jumping on me, putting her feet on me, which she does when she's worried. Now they're manding for me, see if I can get that. So they're a little uneasy. They want to be sure that things are going to be okay. The sheep just are remarkable here. Nice, Sasha. Nice, Sasha. So notice that I'm not asking these dogs to slow down. I'm not cautioning them. I'm standing here close. I'm keeping my body language slow and quiet. Nice babies, good. Good dogs, very nice. Hi, sheepies. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Good job. Hi, baby sheep. Good girl, Cash, or good boy, Cash. Hi, honey. Hi, you little brightly self. They might not appreciate that. Yeah, what do you think, sheep? So these sheep are really peoply. So they're staying kind of close to me because that's a safe place. And there is a fast, irreverent dog, but notice that that's not actually Chase. That's her being fast and worrying the sheep a little bit, but she didn't have her gaze fixed on one individual and the sheep knew it. And they just sort of traveled along and stayed the course. And so did she. Nice cash, nice cash. So times that I might wanna say, please cash, don't screw this up. I'm just gonna tell him that he's a good dog because that reaches back into our training history of lots of reinforcement for behaviors that I like to see rather than asking him not to do something that I don't wanna see. And you'd think maybe that they're the same, but they're not and he knows the difference. And this girl at my feet here, Sasha, hey, Brew, please don't. There you go. Would really fall apart on me and be more likely to be fast if she thought that I, she was in trouble with me, um, which is something that she decides on her own, on all her own some of the times, because I've never told her she's been in trouble with me. But you're watching the clock here, timer, and they've been standing on the same ground as these sheep for less than five minutes because I pulled the phone out really quickly. I'm walking around, see that yawn for that dog? That's nerves. Nice, Sasha. Nice, honey. I don't think she's ever, good job. I don't think she's ever been around lambs. I'm not even sure that she's seen baby goats. Goats is what she knows more. Um, it's just, this doesn't have to be full of drama. I'm staying out here. I'm an anchor for the sheep and I'm an anchor for the dogs. I'm telling the dogs that I believe in them. Hi, babe. Hi. Can we stop here? Sasha. Sasha. Hey, babies. Hey, guys. So the sheep are getting a little bit nervous because we're back in here in a small space. And rather than stand in here and try to dial the dogs back, because the sheep are going to be more nervous the more that they are in a small space and cornered, and they put themselves in here. But it's not what I want them to do. So what we're going to do is I'm going to walk out this gate into this field. Yeah, maybe I can make the... No, I don't know how to do it. But I'm going to walk out in this field. Hello, dogs. Hello, my darling dogs. Sasha Cash, want to come? 
Sasha Cash, want to come? Yeah, babes. Yeah, babes. Hi, you want to come out here? Good boy. That's it, that's it. Oh, God, 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 God. Good, 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 good. So rather than call him over and over and over, I'm just being more fun than standing and looking at sheep. And it's not wrong for him to look at the sheep. He's doing great, but the sheep need it. So now there's one dog up there, which is easier for them. And Sasha's using her head and being really wonderful about it. <laughs> Hi, baby. So we're going to go out in this field. And walk around out here. To see what happens with those sheep. So the dogs are walking around under me. Sorry, videoing by myself is challenging. But I want you to watch the, cap, the clock for the timer. Sasha, keep your feet off my face. Sheep, sheeps! You guys want to come out here? It's cool out here. Sheep, sheeps! Sheep, sheeps! So the sheep were out here for a few minutes, as you saw, and they went back in the corner. And so what they're telling me is that's as brave as they feel right, like they are right about now. And I'm going to respect that, and I'm going to close this gate, either taking the dogs out or leaving them in there. But the sheep have chosen to be in a small, slow, sorry, small place. So that's what they need to feel comfortable. And I want them to be able to take their time with this just as the dogs need to. So I'm going to create a little bit of a buffer for them. Hi, darlings. Come on, come on, come on. Cash, come here. Are you going to come? Dogs don't want to because they want to go with the sheep. Come on, Cash, come on. Good girl, Sasha. Cash, come on. What do you think? <laughs> They're on to me. They would rather go see the sheep. And I'm going to be a little bit cautious about what I ask of them. As far as coming when called because this is a partnership and what I'm asking for, well, there they are. Hi, sheepies. It's for everybody to feel like they've been heard and they're safe. Nice, sheep sheeps. So now we have this lead you who's very brave, who's deciding to come out in the field, which the dogs will like a lot better. The sheep will ultimately feel better about it as they spread out a little bit, as long as my dogs aren't gonna chase them and they have not shown any inclination to chase them if I thought that they might the dogs would be on long lines and we'd stay in a small space hi there so part of what they're responding to and worrying about is Rue over there who is very definitely not a livestock guardian dog she's putting some pressure on them and they're deciding that that's a worry so they've gone back at the corner so we'll wrap this up now I will probably bring these white dogs back out here maybe i don't know we'll see but this is the first what eight minutes here of a carefully managed introduction with two young but experienced dogs and new sheep to them new to the property so a little insecure um, and this is how a carefully managed livestock introduction can there's my little sheep clock so i have walked way out in the field jump on me Sasha so that um, I'm drawing the dogs away from that small area and the dogs are hanging out with me a little bit just to give them a minute the sheep are feeling safe enough to leave that little pen and come out and find out that there are some things that they will enjoy about this new situation so I'm giving them a minute to do that they're coming closer to me instead of farther away, which means that they're not all that concerned about the dogs or they like being around people. Oh, maybe true. So, Cash has spotted them. See what he does about it. Those two dogs, three dogs, are just dying to meet these sheep, which are new. Nice job, Cash dog. That little bit of a yawn. That's a little anxiety on his part. Sasha is right here at my feet. Where is she? getting a cuddle which is what she does when she's not sure about what she should be doing or if she's worried about making a mistake who knows but that's what Sasha does hi sweetheart huh so she's just asking to be safe and for me to not be unhappy with her and 
it's interesting because I've almost never been unhappy with this dog and I've had her a lot of her life. I know and you're adorable. She's a little bit of a flirt with people, which is pretty cool. So she's over here hanging out. He's over here wandering around looking like a pretty happy dude. The sheep are out here spread out like they want to be. And all this time, I've got a leash in my pocket and I'm out here kind of setting the tone by the speed that I move around and the tone of my voice and where I am spatially in relation to the small pen, the sheep, the dogs. And so, so Sasha is jumping on me over and over and over, putting her feet like almost on my cheeks, which I don't appreciate, but I know that she does it when she's worried and I don't want to worry about manners right now as much as I want her to get a grip, take a breath, and go be a dog, a working dog, which she knows how to do. So I'm just gonna keep moving around so that she's less likely to stop and put her feet on me and more likely to go off and do her job. So we'll see how that goes for me. So now they walked away from me. Nose is down, which means they're working. Sash cash pretty easily disengages with people and goes back to work. Sasha's inclined to hang out for a while and just kind of milk the situation. And we'll see how they do here. Per normal, she's a little fast. He's a little more steady, a little easier on new animals. So there's a little bit of playful behavior. Not quite chase, but it could easily turn into chase if they put enough pressure on the sheep that the sheep continue to run. Hey, how about it? How about it, dogs? Sasha! Sasha! Hey! Hey! Hi! Hi! You can't just chase these sheep around. You'll just scare them. That's good. So the sheep came over to me because I'm a safe place for them. Sasha came over because she's a flirt. But I'm going to walk around here a few more minutes. But if Sasha can't just settle and be slow, which is what these sheep need. I'm gonna put the dogs in the small area and let the sheep get comfortable out here and take a break and then come out and try this with the dogs again. So it's all a matter of taking the temperature kind of with everybody and realizing that the harder part of this is training the sheep, not the dogs. Um, and so I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that they feel safe. If I needed to, I could put just cash with them and not Sasha also. But I don't. This is going to work out fine. So at this point, I'm going to walk away and go, go do some other chores. And I would call this pretty successful. Here they are. There's a dog. There's a dog. Huh. Yeah. <laughs>